Here I'm going to give a thermodynamic explanation as to why when we add salt to ice in an ice cream maker, we can lower the temperature and therefore allow us to make ice cream. So very simple representation. We have ice cubes. And what we're going to do is add salt on both sides, circular all the way around. We have a container of starting materials to make ice cream. And what happens then is that there's some liquid you know, on the surface of the ice cubes. And so the salt's going to dissolve in that liquid. And once salt dissolves in liquid, then we can look at the fugacity of the water in the liquid phase. And because it has salt, it's lower than the fugacity of water in the ice. Now, we've decreased the mole fraction of the water in liquid phase, and therefore we've lowered its fugacity. Well, we have mass transfer from higher fugacity to lower fugacity, which means ice is going to go into the liquid phase to try and equalize the fugacities. So therefore, what we have is ice melts, and indeed it would keep melting, because as long as we have some salt, we're going to have fugacity lower in the liquid phase. Now, the diagram is represented as we have insulation around the container. Container. So to a first approximation, it's an adiabatic system. Well, when we melt ice, we have to provide energy. We have to provide enthalpy or heat of fusion. So we have to put energy in. Since it's insulated, that energy has to come from the contents of the container, which means from the heat capacity. So we have some mass material as a heat capacity. And what we're going to have is a temperature difference that is going to be equal to this heat of fusion and I should put a negative sign here because the temperature is decreasing, times the mass of ice that melts. So this is not all the ice. For the mass of ice that melts, we're going to get a temperature change, and this temperature change then can be significant, lowers the temperature surrounding the ice cream, and we can therefore make ice cream because we have a temperature below zero degrees, which is the normal melting point for ice.